set it wide, like we said. The one thing to be careful of is not to smother your right hand too far over, okay? That yeah. little line that your thumb and forefinger make there, yeah. going towards your left shoulder or left side, needs to be going more towards your right there, side, okay? Right, okay? So that is that much there. In theory, that club face is whatever that angle is there, already going to be coming back open. So the club, if you made a perfect swing, the yeah. club would come back. 5, 10 degrees open, enough to send the ball to the right. Okay. The other thing is, as the club goes back, you put a lot of wrist into it. Yeah. So as you get to it, that's enough wrist hinge, but now you can see oh, there, boring. yeah, you've got a lot of wrist hinge there. Oh, yeah. there's a, line there. a lot of wrist hinge there. That's increasing the amount and the club faces open even more. Right. And then when the golf club comes back to goal, but you know it's pointing yeah. to the right, so what do you do? Okay, well, I'll just swing my arms to the left. As you come back down, mm. that left arm starts pulling away from the body, trying to sort of hit it out. You can see the gap daylight there between your left arm yeah. and, the cl- and the body there. That club face now is even more open, so the, the grip's a bit more open. Yeah. More wrist hinge, even more open. Left arm away, even more. So three things there. If they're, if they're working at 3 4%, Mm. That's 12%, and then you're right to the right target. And 12% impact is a, yeah, exactly. is a big, yeah, yeah, is a big is. and that's the thing. Massive, and the more speed yeah. you create, which you yeah. can do, you can create speed, and that's just fine. The more speed you create, the further right it's going to go. Mm. You get more speed. So in terms of the backswing, don't lock your arms to try and take the wrist out of play, yeah. but just feel the re- the arms going back a little bit more, sort of a, a relax. That felt you no wrist at all, and we've yeah. still created that, 90 that degrees yeah, nearly, yeah. okay? A little bit more would be okay, that's fine. But as we come back to golf, that's allowing that club to overtake your body. So if you come into hitting area now, at impact, your left arm is still probably... Yeah, there's not is, as much yeah. daylight there between left and right arm, no. okay? And that's the change you made today, mm. okay? So in time, what you'll find is that left arm now be more in towards your chest here yeah. rather than just slightly pulling away less than it is there, obviously. But again, it's yeah. progression. It's not going to go from there to boom, pick yeah, fingers exactly. and yeah, bombing yeah, yeah. it straight. From your point of view, as long as you can understand the concepts of why the ball is going right, in the first thing remember is the fact you said your grip was trying to do this to stop yeah. it going right. Yeah. The more that way you go, the further right it's going to go. So, yeah. again, that right, right hand on the grip correct is going to make a massive difference. But then taking the club away with less wrist, as we said, going back. Yeah. And then the feeling now is the ball is going to go just as far left, low as you can. Yeah. Because at the moment, you've not really hit a shot that goes low left. You've gone low straight, yeah. but not low left. Right, so the club yeah. face is never really closed, yeah. despite the fact you feel that it really is going way shut. Mm. And that's the big thing we said, the real and feel. What feels to you dead square. Yeah. So you said you're not trying to the ball in the trees, are you? No. You're trying to the golf club back to the target square. Yeah. That's logical. So what feels to you, say, 12 o'clock on the clock face is like 1.30. Mm. So to get to go to 12 o'clock, you go then yank it to you the left, go. the 10th, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And over time, what you'll find at the moment now, at 100%, it's going to 1.30. Mm-hmm. If you slow things down and do it a little bit slow to start with, get it towards the 10.30, and then 11 o'clock, you can build the speed up, then 11.30, build the speed up again, and over then, maybe on a week or two or a month or whatever, you can hit some balls in the range, get some practice shots, warm up with that driver, and just get the club face. What is it for? It goes way left as you can. Mm, yeah. I think if you get looser in the grip, the biggest yeah. problem I see in probably... 90% of golfers of your age and male, mm. they grip the club so bloody <laughs> yeah, tight, yeah, yeah. just trying to squeeze it. Because in their yeah. mind, they feel tight as power, tense as yeah, tight yeah, as tense exactly. and power, it's like a muscle. It. You yeah. can't know. Again, always, always go back to like throwing a ball. If you're going yeah. to throw a ball, you grip it in your fingers as loose as you wouldn't lock your arm and yeah, your arm yeah, straight yeah. and then lock your arm and try and throw it. You'd be yeah, nice and loose. loose. Yeah, yeah. you get the speed. Okay. We're, we're trying to create speed, yeah. not power. Right. Okay. We don't power a golf ball out there. We create speed in the club head. Yeah. Hence why I say when the swing feels too fast, mm-hmm. it's because everything is tense and tight. The club's still working at 70 plus mile an hour. Yeah. And nothing else is following it. Right. The club then feels too quick because it's going quicker than the body. But okay. if we're looser, the body and things can work better. The hands can square the club face up. Still keep the club head speed. Yeah. And we feel smoother. And then we can start increasing that club head speed even more so. Because I mean, you're you should be at the ball to 80 and 90 mile an hour club head speed, mm. which is doable and that's going to be 200 plus yards yeah but as long as the club face is square yeah that's the important that's just exactly. square, yeah. yeah okay yeah. does that make sense yeah, 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 yeah. so don't smother your right hand over no just leave that keep it nice and neutral and relaxed yeah. i think in terms of the grip position is fine or better now pressure is the biggest thing if you get too tight in the grips and you yeah. squeeze it you're going to really struggle they get nice and loose in the grip pressure so you can get some movement there so yeah. less risk going back just think nice and sort of wide and sort of a small amount of hinge Someone is fine should be able to well, I, I would, way, yeah, I would say it. between if one and ten is like a, a spectrum we're going to measure on, ten is like a white knuckle ride, and you're probably eight, nine at the moment. Yeah. One's coming out of your hand, you probably want to be the four, five area. Mm. Got to be sort of loose, it's going to fly out, but yeah, <coughs> at the same time, yeah, looser yeah. your arms can be. If you're securing the grip, it's going to be fine. Mm-hmm. Okay? 
Yeah. And obviously, now the sensation of releasing that club as far left as you can. Right, yeah. a couple more, now, mate.